everyone, this is Paul Gale from PaulGaleNetwork.com and I have exciting news today. Today, this Bowser shirt and also the description up ahead should give you a little idea or a big idea of what's about to happen. I'm going to do the unboxing of the Bowser exclusive statue from First Four Figures. I pre-ordered this like three years ago or so. As you can see, I have number 376. I believe a couple thousand were made, so that's a pretty low number. Each statue comes in two boxes because one is the base and one is the big boy himself, King Koopa Bowser. So I thought I would uh, open up both and show you what it looks like. Maybe show you a comparison video or a comparison shot, I should say, of Bowser standing side by side. Samus Aran, which I just opened up a couple of days ago, the reprint that I was given. Maybe show you some uh, Bowser and Samus Aran Amiibo in the shot, but yeah, this is Bowser Exclusive Edition, Part 1 and Part 2, both statues combined into one video. Well, it's one statue, but one base. You'll see what I mean. And uh, let's get this started. I'm still in a frame, right? Okay. Let's first start with the base. We're a little wider today because there are a couple of statues involved. A couple of boxes involved. I mean, the base really is like a statue in itself. This is a heavy guy. It has to be because Bowser himself, the statue is really big, as you can see. It might be one of the first four figures' heaviest statues. Its overall circumference, its height, its depth. They're all pretty notable. As you can see in first four figure packaging, you get these styrofoam dudes right here. We're just gonna toss these out of the way for now. Packaging is always really taken care of very nicely. Put this on top for one moment. Inside, nothing special, but you do have uh, four more of those styrofoam dealios protecting the box on all sides. Here is the box itself, which should have the base in it, unless if there's anything extra. The main Bowser box, which is this one right here, should definitely have an artistic box. First Four Figures usually has the packing box with a styrofoam, a internal and internal box, and then an art box. In the case of the Metal Gear Solid, Solid Snake statue, there was also a Shadow Moses Island fun box around the art box. Okay, so let's see if this thing has art on it. It looks like it does. So there's another box inside here. So you really do get quite a bit of stuff. Great for collectors. Okay, let's lift the plastic up. Shake it out, kind of. Might have to use my feet to grab onto the box. Okay, that's not going to quite work, so huh, we're going to do it this way. Hold the box in place, slide out this base. This base is what will have the electrical uh, battery in it. Um, what else will it have? Oh, maybe the base is gonna have, maybe this box is gonna have the, what should I call it? The fire breath. This Bowser, the exclusive version, comes with a tongue and a fireball. that you can attach, switch between. So this base might have both. So you're getting a really big styrofoam box inside. Look at this thing. Look at that art. Isn't that cool? Let's see. I don't know if you could see it. It's a little bit too bright. Oh, there you go. A little bit of an angled shot. There's artwork on top showing Bowser. Now this one will be easier to get out on its own. So here's that box, here's this plastic, and here's this box. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that artwork nice? Wow, these boxes take up a lot of space when you get them all situated, but you can see my number, 376 for the product number. Okay, yeah. 
unless if you throw the boxes away and stuff like that, which most collectors don't. Most collectors keep everything, myself included. Uh, they they kind of take a lot of space. So. QC passed. Okay, let's make sure this doesn't fall, right? Pretty excited. The Bowser statue is one of my favorites that I have pre ordered over the years and that I've been looking forward to. Okay, cool. So, this is the fireball and the base in one. Jeez, that's heavy. Look at this. Wow. Look at the, look at the art. out of the way. Look at that beast. Look at that fireball. My gosh. This connector right here goes inside Bowser's mouth. You take out his tongue and then the first four fingers actually repositioned it from being right here where you wouldn't be able to see his face looking on to the fires kind of coming down a bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Set him up here. Here. <laughs> and uh, this will have a pulsing effect stationary effect like a fluttering one or it could just be off but that's awesome look at the detail all these little grooves and whatnot it's really just coming out pretty sweet pretty sweet i'm gonna put this off to the side you still might be able to see it it's on the couch uh you have your battery frf gives batteries with the statues back in the early days of these statues like my Arwing, for instance, which isn't like super early, but it is uh, from 2016. So just a few short years have passed and already FRF has changed up how they give people statues. Instead of like using your own double A's and stuff like that to stick inside, they just come with one of these and you could charge it either externally in a little battery charger or just plug by USB into the base of the statue and into your wall or whatever. Here's his tongue. I believe it's magnetized so it should go in and stick there. So that's cool. Tongue, which you'll see in a moment. Battery, cool. Alrighty. Cord, here's the USB cord that I was talking about. Nothing too crazy, just a cord. <laughs> All right, now let's see the base. Looks like it's opened upside down, so this will be the bottom of the base first. And it's a pretty heavy base. Make sure nothing slips out. Wow, what a beast. What a beast of a base. I'll open this up a little bit closer to you. Okay, look, look at this guy. Whoa, <laughs> look at this. 376, all right, I'm gonna do some weightlifting with this. 376 right there, boom, look at that massive base. Wow, look at the brick. This brick work is nice. I'll be sure to polish off some smudges later on. And then you've got a hole inside here, and one hole is for the electrical socket of Bowser's foot to step in, and the other hole is just to kind of further hold him in place, and then you have you know, the big hole on the outside, the circle. Oh, that's the on and off switch, by the way. The outside circle where, you know, probably the base of his foot will go. We're going to put this on my entertainment center right now. Watch it all come crashing down because it's so heavy. Now, since I know that usually it's the back of the statue where the on and off switch is, I'm going to assume that that's the case in this case. So I put the on and off switch towards the back, and now we can move this box off to the side. Like I'm telling you, all these boxes and cardboard and everything, it's crazy. Okay, we can move this a little bit more in the frame, kind of centered-ish. Okay, this is the Bowser statue itself. Significantly heavier. Oh yeah! <laughs> you can just weight lift with Bowser. If you did like 20 squats a day with Bowser, 20 overhead presses a day, 
with his base. 20 tricep extensions per day. <laughs> and if you did it all year long, working out with Bowser and the statue, you probably have a decent amount of exercise thrown into your life, you know? Okay. Put the knife down. Here we've got these four dealios again, protecting the statue. I may or may not be able to take this out depending on how much slack it has, it had enough. All right, the inside of the box at the bottom, once again, were four more of those protective corner pieces. Mm. Now we have this box itself. Okay, get the knife back and let's go cutting. I love FRF. It's an awesome company. You know, they do video games because the market already has a lot of different companies that do comic book characters, anime characters, and so forth. But if I could pick some property that FRF doesn't already do, they already do so much of Nintendo with Mario, Star Fox, which only has one statue and so far, which is the R-Wing, Metal Gear Solid from Konami, Samus Aran from Metroid, the upcoming Ridley statue from the Metroid universe, Legend of Zelda stat statues of plenty, Sonic the Hedgehog, they do a lot. If I could pick something from an anime, it would be, you probably guessed it, Dragon Ball. I'd like to see them do, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku from Dragon Ball Super. I think that would be awesome. Many people agree. Some people say, ah, it's not needed, other people do it, but I'd like to see F4F do it because I really like the company. I like the people that work there. They all do a good job. I wouldn't mind seeing that. All right, I don't know if this plastic is strong enough to carry it. So to be safe, it looks like it's sliding out. I'll grab the bottom with my feet. Slow carry, slow carry. I think it's gonna take too long. I don't wanna risk the plastic uh, tearing and the statue falling. So I'm gonna tilt this on the side and kind of shake it out the other way. Wow, look at this stuff. It's Christmas morning in the Gale household, right? Okay, I'm excited. Temporarily lifting it upside down. Samus' statue was very easy. Samus was just herself and her cannon. You put them together, and that was it. You stuck it on the base. Bowser, I think he's gonna have more to it. Like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'll lift up the box and show you in detail. Left with the knees, not the back. Look at that. Look at that guy. Look at this big boy. King Koopa in the house. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this statue you have to... Oh, sweet! Oh, I love it! Now I should cover this. This is my Bowser Exclusive Edition card. I'm just covering the number on it. So that's mine. You can register all of these things on firstboardfigures.com. And it's neat. Authenticates your statue. Okay. Day one sticker. These are always pretty cool. A little uh, promotional piece of art that shows what else does First Four Figures have coming up slash recently come out. You got Psycho Mantis on here, Spyro the Dragon, Banjo-Kazooie. See? That's that. You get that. There you go. A little bit of a better angle. If you're on the fence of getting a statue of your favorite character, if it is from FRF, I highly recommend it. Do it. If you can plan your money ahead of time and budget it out, 
more power to you. Upper Up has a nice and easy flex-to-pay system, I think they call it, where you can pay your statue off up front, you know, $500, $400, whatever your statue happens to cost, or at no extra penalty, you can split your payment up over, you know, eight months, 10 months, something like that. Your statue will come a year or two later, whenever. Your money is long gone. You're not worrying about the payments anymore because you already paid it off a couple of years prior. And then one day it will arrive and you'll have this beautiful piece of art representing a character that you really, really like. And if the character means something to you because you know, you've been a fan of that franchise for a long time, you know, there's nothing cooler that you'll have in your house <laughs> Uh, that's a video game related that shows off your love of a certain franchise than a statue like this. So I'd say, if you're a big enough fan, and you like Mega Man, and you like Legend of Zelda, you, you like Crash Bandicoot, Mario, Sonic, Banjo-Kazooie, Castlevania, anything that they do, uh, FRF does a really good job. Good quality, good customer service. Many of the statues are reasonably priced. You know, they're expensive. That's kind of subjective, though. Oh, this is taking a little while. Oh, okay, there we go. I mean, it's not a $14 Amiibo, that's for sure. But you're also getting something pretty unique. Wow, look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Can you see this? No, you can't from that angle. I apologize. Let me show you Bowser. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Isn't that gorgeous? Jeez. One of my favorite characters in all, in all of gaming. Oh, wow. He's so cool. And I was wrong. There aren't a whole bunch of spikes. Everything is already on it. The way they packaged him, they just made one big bad boy Bowser statue. Horns and all that stuff is already on. Holy smokes. This guy's huge. Wow. What a beefcake. What a beefy guy. <laughs> wow. My daughter Brooke is going to be three next month. She's like 30 pounds. And my son Bryson, he just turned five and, you know, he's like 45 pounds. But look at this. Look at this guy. Look at that. That's the hole in the mouth for the tongue. Holy gosh almighty. Wow. What a beautiful piece. What a beautiful piece. Holy smokes. Okay. I'm going to... Hmm. What am I going to do? I want to put the battery in because I want to see how that goes. But in order to put the battery in, <sighs> I'm out of I'm out of breath slightly. <laughs> Not just from Bowser. I'm talking a lot, a lot of energy going involved involved in all this. So I'm excited. Whew. I also just finished my uh, university classes that I teach, in which I teach Taekwondo and Karate, and I'm a personal trainer. So I just went boom one class, boom other class, boom. Uh, personal training, one-on-one -on -one situation after that with another client. So I've done a lot of physical activity. I'm already warmed up for the day. I'm lugging this big boy Bowser statue around. He's heavy. I'm talking a lot. I'm only going to take a break for a moment because I want to set this up over there, change the camera angle so it's away facing so I could control the camera and hold it and bring you up close. And also, you know, I want to put the battery in. I want to um, get the cord inside so it's already charged up. So it just helps up the process of showing what the statue is like. I'll be right back. One second. And we're back with a wardrobe change. I have a different Bowser shirt on right now. This one is from the Nintendo New York store, which by the way, and you might have heard it here first right now or before on polyallnetwork.com, but Nintendo is bringing a Nintendo Hollywood store to Universal Studios Hollywood. It may be in Universal Studios Hollywood itself, in Super Nintendo World, 
or somewhere in or around CityWalk. But it's happening. You heard it here first on PGN. I announced this news a while back, but I got access to this information so early that it's still a ways away from being officially announced. But don't worry, it's coming. I'm going to do one more edit so I could uh, show you the statue up front. So bear with me and I'm going to turn this camera around. Okay, like I said, one quick video camera holding change and you can now see Bowser up close and wow does that look gorgeous doesn't it it's currently being charged by the USB plug that comes with it attached to my Wii U and just look at him look at this guy Beautiful, right? I put the fireball in his mouth and turned him on. That's what he looks like. Extremely well detailed statue. You know, he's got grooves, he's got textures here. His hair feels different. You could feel you could feel the grooves in the hair. You know, the spikes where you see these lines, you know, they actually feel like lines. They are. You know, his shell has a texture to it. He's got little bumps around him. You know, uh, certain pieces like this of metal are uh, flat and shiny and sharp. Everything's got texture. It's really cool. Really nice. Got these spikes on the back. I'm telling you, he's a heavy, he's a heavy statue. Let me see if I can see what is the weight. Did it have a weight? 17 kilograms. So, yeah, when I said that this is an over 30 pound statue, uh, that wasn't an exaggeration when I compared to Bowser's weight to my daughter. It's like, dang, man, he's dense. He's heavy. Super cool. Now, his uh, fireball does have a couple of different modes. By just pushing this button on the back here, I could change it from this static fire to this pulsating thing where it shoots out and it comes into this <laughs> that's the noise by the way that's the official noise of the fire kind of pulsating within itself and then let's see this is off and then on so that's static on That's this uh, pulsating one. And then that just goes through cycles. And then off. So I think that's it. On. Stationary. On. But cycling between like coming out of his mouth and having this effect of the fire just pulsating as it goes through. And then off. Eh, we'll leave it on for now, so that looks cool. Okay, we can also see what he looks like with his tongue. And by the way, look at it from this angle. See, originally the way FRF designed it was the fire was like straight in front of his mouth. So if you look at it from Bowser's height, you would have this beautiful looking flame, but lose the detail that you get in his face. Well, not necessarily lose the detail, but it would be blocking the image, which looks magnificent. I have drawn this character, Bowser, so many times from 1995 on. I was a Bowser fan and a Mario fan for years prior, but in 1995, as we started getting a lot of images in Nintendo Power, Electronic Game Monthly magazines, we saw uh, pictures and footage eventually of Bowser in Super Mario 64, and I just fell in love with that design of King Koopa. Just absolutely fantastic. So, for me, this is Super Mario 64 style Bowser, you know, just uh, with more polygons. I'm going to throw in the tongue. I don't think I need to turn off the camera for this. I will just power him down and you'll watch me do this for the first time. Taking the fireball out. And you can see the slot in his mouth 
And let's see, which way does the tongue go in? I'm gonna find out right now. I'm not positive yet. Okay, not that way. That way, all right. That's the tongue. So it's a magnet piece. You take it out, the hole side, if you want, the little hole groove side, if you're getting the statue, it matches up with the hole in here. Little magnet connects them together. <laughs> Bowser. Beautiful statue. I said I would make some comparisons between this big boy Bowser statue and a couple of amiibo. So here is the Smash Bros. Bowser Amiibo and the Super Mario brand <laughs> Bowser Amiibo. And just take a look at what the difference is in size. It's uh, absolutely incredible. I just said the other day that Samus Aran was my favorite statue. And you know what? Ooh, between Bowser and Samus, I think... I think they both kind of get like a tied first place treatment. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I, I have uh, Samus Aran various suit, a Bowser, which I think are fantastic. I have the Arwing, Link on the King of Red Lions, which is great. Majora's Mask. Oh, uh, shoot. Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. And I have plenty more on the way coming, including... Ridley, Mario on Yoshi, True for Midna, and maybe there's something else coming too, but yeah, I don't know. I love Bowser as a character, so that definitely helps, but also I think that since he's such an animated character, not a human that looks ultra realistic or anything, it really helps the chances of the statue succeeding because you don't have to get some, you know, truly remarkable, absolutely spectacular very hard to do human face replica. Like with Samus, there's no face, it's the helmet. So the overall Samus Aran is probably a little bit easier to do from a real life looking standpoint than someone's face like Solid Snake, which took a lot of effort. Not that Samus didn't, but you know what I mean? There's a little bit of an effort difference in a human face versus a cartoon face. And Bowser, it's just this just big face. Look, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Gosh, look at this guy. You've got so much space to work with. Yes, you still have to focus a lot on little details and paint. The, the black around the eye. The red eye. The black dot in the middle. The pupil. The little white glimmer in there. It's just a lot of work needs to be done. But probably easier for a designer to make Bowser look exactly like he's supposed to from Nintendo's files than, you know, Solid Snake's face or a realistic looking human face from Konami's files or someone else's files. I'm going to do one quick edit and I'm going to put Samus Aran next to Bowser and I'm going to put the fire back in Bowser's mouth. One moment. As I stated earlier, here is Bowser and Samus Aran standing side by side. How cool is that? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Samus Aran is 20 inches tall. And if I'm looking head on, you know, Bowser is something like 18 and a half, 19 inches tall. But he has a lot more depth to him. It's a thick statue. Certainly a lot heavier. More width, more circumference, a bigger base, a heavier base. But you can really see and appreciate both for what they are. Samus Aran is a very humanoid figure because she, after all, is, you know, a female human bounty hunter chosen by the Chozo to save the universe. She stands in her armor but you are getting the impression that it is a human underneath in a costume. And she looks very accurate to how she does, particularly in this case from Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And you can see 
the attention to detail is what makes this statue really shine. Literally shine. So many parts are lit up. So many little parts. I did this in a previous video, but I'm looking over it again. Lots and lots of lights all over to be as accurate and authentic as possible to the source material. You know? Jetpack and everything. A lot of sculpting involved in her legs and her different parts. Bowser, very different. Clearly a cartoon character, right? A video game character. Uh, a made-up dragon-looking character. Turtle dragon. If you didn't know who Mario was and what Bowser was all about from the franchise, you could still say, like, okay, some kind of made-up dinosaur-esque dragon-looking character, cartoon-oriented, but you could probably appreciate from an artistic standpoint just how much detail is involved. Uh, whether you're a fan or not, you know, his toes, his legs, how much effort went into it. Nice to, <laughs> nice to meet you, Bowser, sir. Oh, I'll shake right hands, I guess. Okay, nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> You know, he's big and he's detailed and the texture involved is different on his hands than his nails. Uh, pieces of him look like they are metal, but everything is polystone, if I'm not mistaken. The Solid Snake statue did actually have metal, but these statues are all polystone. I believe this was plastic in Samus Aran and some parts were plastic from my very unfortunate breakdown video when I had to smash my original one. But anyways, mm, yeah, from an art point of view, you really got to give proper credit to the folks at FRF that designed this statue to look this way. Because it's not just getting a 3D file from Nintendo and <whistles> stick it into a 3D printer and printing it out. No. A lot of craftsmanship goes involved into uh, turning this statue into a statue, you know. You have to make it work. You have to do wiring in between. You know, Bowser only has one light to deal with. So in that case, in those regards at least, it's a simpler than Samus where, you know, she's got these wires going all the way through and lights coming out every spot. And he's just got this one big peg in the bottom of his foot. And whoosh, the light goes into, you know, the charge goes into his mouth. And then there you go. Flame comes out. Uh, but two equally beautiful pieces of art. I can't stress enough how much I love them both. And look at the two Samus Aran amiibo right there. And the two Bowser amiibo right there. Take a look at how they look. That's fantastic. Mm. I don't know if I have a... A new favorite or if it's kind of equal and don't get me wrong I love my Arwing I love my other statues as well Arwing's actually up here as a matter of fact yeah wasn't planning on showing the Arwing but here's the Arwing activating G diffusers that's a beautiful piece very detailed you know it's a ship it's very angular not to say it was easy to make, but probably easier than a realistic figure. Ah, that's the wedding cake toppers that my wife and I had made for our wedding, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, might as well show you some other stuff. Got my Legend of Zelda clock, <laughs> more Amiibo, Ryu, Ryu and Ken, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, but yeah. Nothing quite like a high-quality statue. Samus, her new spot is next to my fireplace. Bowser's new spot is yet to be determined. Ah, you can see Samus glowing in the background of the TV. Pretty cool. This is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out, wanting to thank you one more time for watching this unboxing video slash review of Bowser. Bowser and Samus Aran both get a 10 out of 10. No joke. I 
love these two pieces so much. Both characters I am a huge fan of. And, you know, honestly, it would be really disappointing and sad if these characters got announced that they were going to be made as statues and the color was off or the positioning was off. But this is a very workable angle. Samus looks awesome and heroic. And as one of the first leading ladies of video gaming, I think it's fantastic. I think it's really cool. Long before I came became a dad of a girl, I was all for, you know, women empowerment and whatnot. I think it's a beautiful thing for everybody to be empowered, regardless of your race, your religion, your sex, your gender, anything. You know, everyone should be strong and feel strong and feel like they belong and powerful. So equal representation by everyone across multiple mediums is an awesome thing. It's one of the reasons why I love teaching karate, taekwondo, jiu-jitsu. I love to empower people, you know? And that's what I do in the real world and online. I like to spread some positivity through video games and fun things like this, you know, some unboxing. Bowser, just, just look at this guy. One of my favorite characters too. Hey buddy, just look at his face next to mine. I have a normal sized head for a an adult male, five and five eleven and a half feet tall, thirty six and a half years old, and just look at him next to me. Okay, I'm still bigger, but Bowser's pretty big. You gotta give him props. Just look at these two. Ah, oh, <laughs> I am so happy. If you have any questions about either statue, about mm, first four figures in general, you should definitely head over to the first four figures Facebook page. It's a really cool group there. It's a bunch of people involved. Or just ask me, shoot me a comment below, whether it's on Paul Gale Network or on YouTube, and I'll be happy to talk to you, answer some questions. Once again, if you have the opportunity to get this, I recommend it. I think Bowser's actually limited to, limited to a thousand statues, not two thousand. I think more were made of Samus Aran. But yeah, if you get a chance to buy either statue, go for it. If neither one is your favorite, but you, if, you, if you have an opportunity to get a statue from another video game franchise or other franchise that you like, save up the money. Put it aside and work towards it because this will make you happy, you know? That money will come and go in life on food and stuff like that, but if you could make little sacrifices here and there and have a piece like this, this is eternal. This will make you happy every day you wake up, every day, every moment you look at it, whenever you have friends over, before you go to bed. It's going to give you thousands of hours of joy throughout your life. Super well worth it. I forgot what it was. Five, six hundred bucks. Doesn't matter. The money's long gone from years ago. And it was done in payments too. So didn't even really feel it at the time. And it's just fantastic. It's worth it. All right, everyone. PGN signing out. Thank you for watching this long video. But a 10 out of 10 for Bowser. And a 10 out of 10 for Samus Aaron. Very soon. PGN signing out. Bye.